If you have a sophisticated computer virus that blocks you from accessing places on the internet, you may find it difficult or even impossible to follow any online tutorials to remove this virus. Well, stay tuned because I'm about to help you out. Nico knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech, number one channel with the news on check. Now malware actors are becoming increasingly aware that many of you guys are becoming computer savvy and know how to find online resources like myself or antivirus companies that can possibly provide a resource for you. So a common strategy that these malware actors take is to block your computer's access to these resources. Now if you look right here, I'm going to try and go to a security website. If a Trojan virus has compromised my system to prevent me from going anywhere, it's most likely adding websites I would want to go to to the host file. So if I try to go to malwarebytes.com, it's not going to be able to find the website. It's going to come up as if my internet's not working or that the website's down. With new and dangerous threats emerging every day, protect yourself and your family with one of the most trusted and advanced security suites ever developed. For over 20 years, Kaspersky has been trusted to protect users large and small, including nuclear power plants, cloud storage data servers, and even entire countries. While keeping the secrets of global significance and personal importance, Kaspersky is trusted to protect hundreds of millions, including the reputations of IT giants. Kaspersky has developed hundreds of patented technologies, which enable Kaspersky's thousands of experts in protecting against countless cyber attacks, including a multi-billion dollar online bank heist. Use the link in the description and put Kaspersky in between you and the bad guys. So the way I can check my host file is to hit the Windows key plus R to pull up the run menu and then type notepad and then hold left control, left shift and hit enter. This will open up as administrator. Alternatively, you can click down to the search and type notepad and then click run as administrator. Either way works as long as it's as administrator. Then at the top we're going to click file then open and we're going to navigate on your C drive to Windows and down to System32 and then down to Drivers and then ETC and you'll see that there's nothing here. You have to click down here where it says Text Documents and change that to All Files. Now we have our Hosts file. We'll click on that and then click Open. This is the entire host file which is designed for diverting IP addresses to somewhere else. And so if these things are diverted to 127.0.0.1, it means they're blocked. Your computer can't access them. So everything here, Malwarebytes, Google, Kaspersky, these are, these are security websites. And then some of these you may have added yourself. For example, these here were added by um, a privacy app, which you can, if you want to see more about blocking Windows telemetry and Windows spying, you can check out the video up here. But anything down here below these hash marks, you leave this alone. But everything down here actually is safe to delete. So I'm gonna click all of this and I'm going to delete it all. After that, I'm gonna click File and then Save. Now leaving your host file exactly like this is perfectly fine. I've now rendered my computer able to access these sites were previously blocked. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page, malwarebytes.com. And now it's loading. I can also access Google. And then I can also access Kaspersky. Google's working, of course, and I can access Kaspersky. Now, if you have an active threat, you want to keep this open because it might be on a timer while you have an active threat to reactivate these things and re-add them here. So you might open this 15 minutes later and have them all there again. So while you're dealing with a threat and trying to access the websites for a tutorial, like if you're following my virus removal tutorial, check my channel then you'll want to keep this open and if you ever get blocked again hit file and save then you've just redone this then you'll be able to access the websites because if it gets blocked again you're trying to go to malwarebytes or another place and it's suddenly doing that thing again keep this open hit file, and then hit file and save you've done it again so you'll beat that timer if it's on a reoccurring um, timer all right, great job. Now that you can access the internet again, it's time to remove that malware. I have a tutorial that will teach you how to remove all malware from your machine as well as fix windows and super performance, basically do a full IT run through on it. And that video has over 1.2 million views. Apparently you guys like it. So I'll put that in the description. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also support me on Patreon and follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I'll see you next time.